Okay, we're at uh, number 30 on that problem set, um, evaluating limits analytically. I think I've got it written here as solving limits analytically, but it's uh, the same thing. And of course, you can uh, download that problem set, pathcoverage.com. If you click on calculus and then go to uh, evaluating limits analytically, if you want to see these problems actually worked out with their answers, um, you can pay a, a small fee and uh, get that uh, uploaded to your computer. Um, it'll help you out a great deal, I promise. Okay, so with number 30 here, we take the limit of sine of pi x as x goes to 0. So we're just doing the direct substitution, and we're plugging 0 in for x. And so we end up having the sine of pi. Right, right. It seems like I've already worked this problem for some reason. Hmm. Okay, the sine of pi I might have. The sine of pi is 0. Yeah, did I not work this problem already? I Let's just move on. Who cares? Okay. Um, number 31, we're taking the limit of tan theta as theta approaches 3 pi halves. And so what I like to do is uh, convert uh, things to sine and cosines. Right, and so we've got theta, 3 pi halves, which is 3 pi halves. <clears throat> and so this becomes sine of 2 theta over cosine of 2 theta. scrolling across the screen so now I'm going to uh, plug in 3 pi halves directly into this so we have the sine of 2 times 3 pi halves and that's all over the cosine of 2 times 3 pi halves, right, and rewriting all of this. So we end up having the sine of 3 pi over the cosine of 3 pi. Right. I'll write equals 2 here. And so the sine of 3 pi is 0, and the cosine of 3 pi is negative 1. And of course, the final answer is 0. All right, let's uh, move to number 32. All right, so we just uh, do the direct substitution, plugging 0 in for x, and so we have e to the 0, and then cosine of 2 times 0, and e to the 0 is 1. Any number raised to the 0 power is 1 times a cosine of 0. So cosine of 0 right, is 1 also. Therefore, your final answer is 1. 